Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to set up your local dev environments for Laravel using Vagrant. Alongside Vagrant, we will use Homestead. Homestead is basically Laravel's official Vagrant box. It contains all what we need to build websites using Laravel. To give you a quick overview, we will use Vagrant to basically run a virtual machine where we will locally host our website. We will use Homestead for our Laravel Vagrant box. Now, all the tools that we are using in this tutorial are free and all the links are posted on the description down below. Oracle VM VirtualBox is a cross-platform virtualization application. It works on Windows, Linux, Macs, you name it. So. This basically means that instead of installing, let's say, for example, Linux or any other operating system on a single computer, you can run it virtually instead. So Oracle VirtualBox lets you uh, run multiple virtual machines on the same computer. Vagrant is an open source tool used for building and maintaining virtual machines on a single workflow. Vagrant uses Oracle VM to provide you with an easy way to manage virtual machines. In Vagrant terminology, virtual machines are called boxes. In this tutorial, we will use Vagrant to start a virtual Linux Ubuntu server to locally host our Laravel project on our dev machine. Now, we're running the Homestead box and Homestead contains basically Nginx, MySQL, all the versions of PHP, Git, and many other tools that we will need for our Laravel or even Symfony projects. One of the cool things that I personally like about Vagrant is that not only it provides you with an easy way to manage virtual servers, but it also makes setting up projects really easy. I usually work on many different PHP versions depending on the project. So saves me a lot of time because it handles all the server mappings for me. To download Oracle VM VirtualBox, we're going to go to virtualbox.org. From here, we're going to go to downloads on the left. And you will need to select your platform. So we're using Windows. Once you have that downloaded, then let's go ahead and run it. We want to click next. And we want to keep all the default options. Now, once that's done, let's go ahead and start it. To download Vagrant, we're going to go to vagrantup.com and from here, we're going to click on download. Now, on the top, you could select your operating system. We're using Windows 64-bit. Once you got Vagrant downloaded, let's go ahead and run it. Once that's done, let's go ahead and close this. And notice here, we will have to restart our system. So let's go ahead and do that. Now, in order for us to install uh, Homestead, we will need to use Git. If you don't have Git installed on your Windows, you will need to go to git-scm.com and right here you could click download for Windows. Now, once that's done, let's go ahead and run it. Now let's go ahead and launch Git Bash. 
Now to double check if we have git installed, let's go ahead and write git in our terminal. And notice here, we have git installed. Now to install Homestead, you will need to go to laravel.com. From here on the top right, let us search for Homestead. We're going to scroll down. And in here, we need to copy this command. Now let's open git bash. So click on Windows Start and search for git bash. Now when you open git bash, you will always default. It will always open on your user main folder. That's the default. So let's create a new directory. And let's call it homestead. Now we will need to clone homestead. And we're going to run this command that we copied. So let's paste it in here. Now once that's done, we want to go inside that folder. So let me expand this and zoom in here. So you want to go inside homestead. And from here, you want to run git checkout release. Now we want to run this file init.sh so let's go ahead and do that now we have homestead uh, initialized so we're ready to start using it now to give you an overview let's open our homestead folder so here's a nice trick if you're on windows you want to open file explorer just type start and add the dot and this will open file explorer for the folder that you're currently inside. So notice here we're inside our main user and homestead. This file here homestead.yaml this is where we're gonna do all our configurations for our homestead background box. So the first thing we want to do is set up our folders basically what we want to do here is create a folder somewhere on our computer and we want to share it with our virtual machine now let's go ahead and open file explorer and from here i'm going to go inside my c drive and i want to create a new folder and i'm going to call it websites now I will be placing all my Laravel projects in here. It's up to you where you want to do this from. So I'm going to copy the address here and I will paste it inside here. Now we want to make sure we're inside our homestead folder. So if you're on Windows, you could easily just run cd slash homestead. To start our virtual machine, we will write vagrant up. Once that's done, we should have our server up and running. So to check the status of our homestead box, let's uh, write vagrant status. And here you can see that homestead is currently running. So to be able to access homestead, we will need to use SSH. To do that, you just simply write vagrant SSH. Now, to exit from Homestead, we're going to write exit and we close our connection. So, if we want to stop our Vagrant box from running, we type Vagrant Halt. So, now we're going to create our Laravel project. So we want to go back to our main project folder. So that was inside my C drive, inside websites. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call my project Green Cleaning Services. You can add as many projects here as you like. 
now to configure this part so what basically this does is that once we have our Laravel running locally we want to obviously access it through our browser so this part here the map will give our website a domain name so let's call ours greencleaningservices.com now we want to map our domain name to the location for our project inside our vagrant machine so remember this is being mapped to this so we will need to add our other folders that are inside websites so you have green cleaning services here so we're gonna add that here and we want to make sure since we're using Laravel that we we map it to our public folder because that's where we declare our root now let's save this and note any change you make here we will need to run the vagrant reload provision command now once that's done let us go inside our vagrant machine so we do that by writing vagrant ssh Since we mapped our project to this location, we should be able now to find this folder created inside our Vagrant machine. So let's see. We're going to go to CD, Home, Vagrant, and we said that it's under Code and Green Cleaning Services. Now we want to create our Laravel project, so I'm going to be using Composer since it's already installed on our VM. So to create a Laravel project, we write Composer, Create Project, Laravel, and slash Laravel. And let's call ours, and actually let's save ours here, so we use a dot. Once that's done, let's open our folder and see what happened here see we have all our work so whatever we do inside our vm will also be reflected here so you could easily start editing and writing code right now for laravel now before we configure windows htdoc file i would like to make a point so right now I'm using this name greencleaningservices.com for my local development. Now the big problem with this is that once you try to access this, this website already exists. So we don't want to really uh, use that name. So we want to try to find a name that doesn't exist. So see here I wrote dev in front. We get this site cannot be reached. So this is a good name to use. Otherwise, what's going to end up happening is that your browser will automatically route you to the other website, which, uh, which you won't be able to access your local site in this scenario. So I'm going to change this to dev, and I'm going to actually add dash, greencleaningservices.com. Again, you could pick whatever name you like, just make sure that the name you pick is not assigned. Now, to get this to work, I'm going to have to reload Vagrant. And while this happens, let's uh, modify our htdoc file. So we're going to go and open Notepad. And you want to make sure you're opening Notepad as an administrator. Now, you want to open and you want to go inside your PC, your C drive, your Windows folder, System32, and in here you want to find a file called Drivers. So the folder is right here, Drivers, and you want to go to ETC, and here you want to click All Files. And let's go ahead and open your host file. So what we want to do here right now is map our IP address for our Vagrant machine to our domain name. So we need to open the 
homestead yaml file and let's copy this ip address here and let's go back to our host file and let's add it and we want to also add our domain name so let's copy this and let's add it here so you should have your ip address and domain name and let's save this and let's try if our website now works and here you go we're getting the laravel default page thank you for watching our tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel if you have any questions or concerns feel free to comment down below